Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the top five waterfall hikes in the Shenandoah National Park. Let's go. All right, let's get right to it. Number five, the fifth best waterfall in the Shenandoah National Park is, let's go with Jones Run Falls. Now, this is a four and a half mile hike. It's very nice, very easy hike. It's one of the, it's actually one of the first hikes I went on when I was, uh, let me see, wow, let me see. It's one of the first waterfall hikes I was on and I think I was 16 years old when I went on this one. But a beautiful hike, it's actually very easy. It's not too bad. Um, maybe about two and a half hours uh, all together for a hike. It's off of milepost 84 off of the Skyline Drive. And somewhat easy. Now, mind you, every one of these waterfall hikes uh, is very enjoyable on the way to the waterfall. <laughs> but once you start coming back to your vehicle or back to the trailhead, a um, little bit more challenging. Most waterfall hikes are on the oncoming trip are going to be uh, uphill. So, you know, that's when you're probably going to use your water. One good thing about this, some of these waterfall hikes is that you are crossing over a lot of streams to where that you can take bandanas and shirts and uh, go ahead and cool down, especially if you're hiking in the summertime. Uh, but uh, very enjoyable. Now, Jones Run Falls, you can have dogs there, but they need to be on a leash. Uh, the elevation gain on that hike is 1,272 feet, um, so very doable. It's not too bad. It's, it's, it is a hike. If you pick at 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, uh, you can see wildlife, anything from deer, bears, um, anything that you want to see. Um, look around for uh, the overturned rocks and some of the scat that's on the trail. Um, it's also one of the first places I've ever seen uh, cubs out in the wild was Jones Runs Falls. Once again, milepost 84, that one comes in at number five. Beautiful hike, beautiful trail. You'll enjoy it. Another thing as well too is that it is not too far from Loft Mountain Campground. Now, now you can join in this hike for a full loop hike, and I believe it uh, takes about six and a half hours, but you can combine this hike with Doyle's River Falls Trail. And that's number four. Doyle's River Falls Trail for going back from the trailhead, going back is three, three and a half miles, 3.4 or three and a half miles. Um, it is a butt kicker coming back. It's only 1,189 feet gain, but it is in a shorter distance. Uh, dogs are allowed on the Doyle's River, and uh, they have to be on a leash, of course. You have an upper and a lower falls for Doyle's, but very enjoyable hike. Um, take your time coming back if you're not an avid hiker. Taking little ones or toddlers, expect to be carrying them back. It's a, uh, it's a little bit of a butt kicker. Allow yourself about two and a half hours on hiking on that one as well too. But let's say you do combine the Doyle's River Falls Trail and the Jones Trail. And it's going to take six and a half hours to do the full loop. Now, that's not from, uh, from parking lot to parking lot. That is from hiking from Doyle's River, down, hitting the Doyle's River Trail, continuous straight on, you'll run straight into the Jones um, Falls, you'll run straight into the Jones Falls, but you'll end up at the Jones parking lot. Now what you can do is take the Appalachian Trail versus hiking through the Skyline Drive back to the Doyle's parking lot where you originally parked you can take the Appalachian Trail through there, and it's actually a not bad hike on the Appalachian Trail. So very nice there as well too. But you can do a full loop, full loop route. If you got six and a half hours, maybe seven hours to go ahead and spend, treat it as an all-day hike, grab some lunch, two bottles of water per person. It's a very enjoyable day. Gonna be tired at the end of it, but it's a very enjoyable day. Okay, the third best hike in the Shenandoah National Park is Dark Hollow Falls Trail. If you're going to do this one, go early. Um, come 11, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, there's probably going to be about uh, 75 to 100 cars in the parking lot. And tell you the truth, once you do get to the falls, it's not going to be as enjoyable. It's going to be a lot of people 
um, a lot of people there and you probably won't get your shots. At 81 of these trails that I'm telling you, try to leave as early as you can. That way you can get some good shots and you can get some good video. Not a whole lot of people talking, you can have the trail to yourself. But um, the waterfall hikes are the most popular hikes during the spring and summertime, of course in Shenandoah. And uh, you know, very nice. Uh, there are no dogs allowed on Hollow Falls, uh, Dark Hollow Falls. It is on milepost 50.7 off of the Skyline Drive. It's right across the street from Big Moto's campground, uh, which is a very busy campground. Now that campground uh, has got several hikes around it. Dark Hollow Falls, um, very rewarding, very nice. Very nice picture shots. Um, you will definitely enjoy it. Um, one bottle of water and you're good for that hike. It has, it's, it's actually uh, kid friendly as well too. Uh, you shouldn't have any issues or any problems with that one there. Just a whole lot of people. Try to go early as you can. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm out here on the Appalachian Trail today um, hiking. Every one of these hikes that I'm talking about can be verged off of the Appalachian Trail. Um, but the Dark Hollow Falls Trail is only a 1.4 mile hike. Um, look at, um, you know, maybe 45 minutes to get there. Um, count for maybe 45 minutes to an hour getting back. Should be no problem. Um, nice hike. Very rewarding. Okay, coming at number two, the second best waterfall hike in the Shenandoah National Park is South River Falls Trail. Uh, to me, it is my favorite. But at the majority of all the people that I've talked to and the polling that I've been doing as well too, it comes at number two for everybody else. Now this is definitely a winner of a hike. It's probably last year or two years ago. It was the best hike I was ever on. Um, I still fight to have this one as number one, but it's coming in as number two. It is the third tallest in the Shenandoah National Park. It has kind of like three little waterfalls. It's one waterfall that comes down, goes into a pool, and then it has two more coming down underneath that. If you hit that trail, um, if you hit that waterfall hike when it has been raining, um, maybe an inch or two inches within the two to three day period, oh, are you going to get some beautiful shots. Um, now, I do have a video for this hike. It's one of the earlier videos I did on YouTube. Now, with this hike, there is an observation point that you can get a good look at the, at the falls but go past that observation point and go to the base of the falls. I believe if I remember right, it's another eighth of a mile uh, longer, but wow, it is beautiful down there. I mean, you're talking about some great shots. I hear some uh, views from the bottom. Now I caught these views right here from when, um, I think it was like maybe two inches of rain or an inch and a half of rain had uh, fallen within uh, a two day period. And uh, so I, I hit a great time with that. Uh, allow yourself uh, about two hours to go ahead and do this hike. It is a 4.4 miles. It is a, let me see, I think it's mile post 62.8 off of the Skyline Drive. And if you pull into the south, uh, if you pull into the South River picnic area, um, the hike is in there as well too. And that's a nice little picnic area. You can uh, go and relax as well too. Okay, coming at number one, the best waterfall hike in the Shenandoah National Park is White Oak Canyon. Um, a beautiful hike. This is a very tall waterfall. You can go ahead and join this waterfall hike in with Cedar Run Loop. There is two areas to go ahead and hit this trail. You, I, I always done it from the Skyline Drive area. Now you can go on the full nine mile circuit loop that connects in with Cedar Run Loop. Like I said, nine miles. Now, if you continue on to go past on this particular hike, to go past the Upper Falls, which is beautiful. The Upper Falls is grand, um, very well worth it. You can still continue to go, I believe it's six miles past Upper, upper Falls to go and hit all the other falls that run along with this hike. Um, only do it if you are in great condition. Now, what I'm saying is, is that basically, if you are, um, it, if you go past Upper Falls, it is a very challenging hike. So be careful. Make sure you got plenty of water. Uh, make sure that you're able to uh, hike it back out as well too. Uh, the descents are amazing. Now, the Upper Falls, 
once you get past the bridges, I think there's two bridges, once you get past the bridge, uh, you got some beautiful sanders. There's an outcropping right there. I'll give you shots of what that looks like. Um, it's, um, it's probably, it, it is a very highly visited trail. So try to go early if you can. Every one of these hikes go early. Matter of fact, every hike that you go on to, try to go early. Um, I, I, the, the one thing, everybody that knows me from the, my channel is I can't stand crowds. I can't stand to sit there and hike somewhere that all of a sudden 20 or 30 people are, are at the destination, whether it be a peak on a mountain, outcropping, or, um, or a waterfall, and everybody's chitter chatter and talking and gossiping and all this stuff as well too, and nobody wants to shut up while they sit there and people are trying to take in nature. Uh, I'm sorry, I was ranting, sorry. Anyway, now White Oak Canyon, on the upper falls of White Oak Canyon is 4.6 miles. Um, there is, um, you can take your dogs out on this trail with a leash, of course, and um, it, it's not that bad. It's not that bad of a hike at all if you're just sticking with upper falls. Um, it's not very challenging. Yeah, you can take kids out on as well too. Be careful, of course, with the, uh, with the uh, overhang observation point, of course. It is a 1,040 feet elevation gain, uh, which is not too bad, but um, you know, I would say one good bottle of water and I think you're good for that, uh, for that particular hike. That is the top five uh, best waterfall hikes. They're all easy, they're all doable. Be careful with Doyles, it's a little bit challenging coming back. Um, but, uh, but other than that, the waterfall hikes are the best hikes to do in spring, summer, and fall. And if you get a chance, get your backcountry permit and uh, pick one of those waterfalls that you can go to, hang up a hammock, pop a tent, and uh, listen to that waterfall overnight while you're uh, camping uh, overnight. There's nothing like it. I mean, there is nothing like it. You're in the national forest, you're in a, and, and you hear a waterfall while you're sleeping, when you wake up, it, you just sleep like a baby. Um, it, it's, there's nothing better. Hey, at this point, if you watch me this long, you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Always good with me. I hope always good with you. Uh, stay safe in these trying times, and uh, I'll see you soon. Got a lot of videos coming coming your way.